The world has decided that it is time to tackle climate change. Europe's goal is to reduce its CO2 emissions by 40% in 2030 and by 80% in 2050. Other countries have also set similar goals. To significantly reduce their CO2 emissions, Europe and the rest of the world must gradually improve the efficiency of their energy system and at the same time switch to more renewable energy. This film focuses on one of the biggest challenges that must be implemented if Europe and the rest of the world is to integrate more renewable energy and achieve its CO2 targets. The development of new, modern district heating systems. These local networks have delivered cheap heat to many cities around the world for decades. In Europe alone, district heating is already supplying 13% of the heat demand. By expanding district heating, it will be possible to improve the efficiency of the heat supply and also pave the way for 100% renewable energy. Today, 40% of the energy consumed in Europe is for heating. Most of this heat is provided by oil and gas that is burned in boilers located in each building. In the future, cities could buy their heat from a public grid, just like electricity, by using open source district heating systems. These networks will be able to integrate many different types of renewable energy and make it possible to collect vast amounts of waste heat. Today, there is more heat wasted during electricity production in Europe than is required to heat all of the buildings in Europe. This waste heat currently disappears into the sea, rivers and the atmosphere. With fourth generation district heating, this waste heat can be collected from the power plants and delivered to the consumers who can buy the heat as they need it. The same applies to industrial production. With proven technology, Europe's industries could collect enough waste heat to supply up to 50 million households. Fourth generation district heating will improve the efficiency of the heat supply and result in significant savings. In addition, it is important that the consumption of heat by the end user is significantly reduced. This can be done by improving the requirements for new and existing buildings. New, modern, low-energy houses will be built with much lower energy consumption than before and the fourth-generation district heating will be very suitable for these buildings. However, between now and 2050, the largest potential for heat savings is in existing buildings. Existing buildings can be converted to low-energy houses and save up to 50% of its heating consumption compared with today. This is possible using solutions that are already available on the market, which can improve the walls, ceilings, doors and windows. The remaining heat demand can be supplied with high-efficiency district heating, which uses prefabricated piping with a high-quality insulation. More low-energy houses will make it possible to lower the temperature in the district heating system from approximately 90 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius. A lower temperature will reduce the amount of heat that is lost in the network and it will also be possible to collect even more waste heat from the power plants and industry. District heating is suitable in urban areas, but what about the buildings outside of the cities? Today, these buildings usually have an oil boiler, but in the smart energy system, these should be converted to individual heat pumps. This will improve the efficiency of the heating sector and integrate it with the electricity sector even more, again paving the way for a 100% renewable energy supply. By implementing heat savings, district heating and the smart energy system concept it will be possible for Europe and the rest of the world to gradually eliminate fossil fuels. Fossil fuels will be replaced by local infrastructure, such as district heating pipes and production facilities, which will create more local jobs, save energy, and pave the way for a 100% renewable energy supply.